The moment a twin flame seeker surrenders, something truly magical begins. Imagine a long journey through a vast ocean of feelings and emotions, where the waves lift you to the heavens and then sink you into the depths of despair. And here, you finally decide to let go of the rudder of your ship, trusting the winds of fate. What lies ahead of you on this path to harmony and understanding? The process of surrendering in search of your twin flame typically goes through five stages, each of which carries unique lessons and revelations. Let's explore these stages together as if uncovering the secret chapters of an ancient manuscript written by the universe itself. The journey toward twin flame union begins with the unmistakable recognition of a profound connection that feels both ancient and eternally new. This initial stage is characterized by an intense, almost magnetic pull toward someone who might initially be a stranger, yet feels deeply familiar. It's as if your souls have crossed paths long before this moment, and upon reconnecting in this lifetime, they instantly reignite an unspoken understanding and bond. This recognition often comes when least expected, manifesting itself as a series of synchronicities or fortuitous events that seem too aligned to be mere coincidences. You might encounter this person in unexpected settings or find your paths crossing repeatedly in unusual ways, reinforcing the sense that the universe itself is orchestrating these encounters. The essence of this phase is not merely in recognizing another person, but in feeling seen and understood at a soul level. It's as if each of you holds up a mirror to the other reflecting back not only your shared qualities, but also deeper, perhaps even unacknowledged, aspects of yourselves. This mirroring is both exhilarating and challenging, as it compels both individuals to confront and embrace aspects of themselves that may have been long hidden. Emotionally, this stage is overwhelming yet invigorating, it involves a spectrum of feelings from exhilaration and joy to fear and vulnerability. Spiritually, it often triggers a wake-up call, urging both individuals to embark on a journey not just towards each other, but towards personal growth and self-discovery. The recognition of a twin flame is more than a call to romantic love. It is a call to spiritual awakening. During this stage, it's common for both twin flames to experience vivid dreams or intuitive insights about each other, further deepening their understanding and connection. There may also be an increase in empathy and telepathic communication, where you start to sense each other's thoughts or feelings even when apart. Next comes the stage of intense striving. This is the period when you feel an overwhelming desire to be close to your twin flame. Like a traveler that rushes through storms and tempests to the promised land, you learn to set boundaries and balance your own needs and those of your partner. This is a time of discovery, both internal and external. During this stage, both parties might find themselves driven by an insatiable curiosity about each other. This curiosity goes beyond mere surface level interactions. It seeks to unearth the layers of personality, past experiences, and spiritual depths that define each other. The pursuit can be all-consuming, with a strong focus on communication 
spending time together, and sharing experiences that are both mundane and profound. The emotions in this phase are intense and can swing dramatically. On one hand, there can be immense joy and exhilaration from each interaction, each discovery about the other. On the other hand, the intensity can also bring about insecurity, fear of loss, or even overwhelming passion that can be difficult to manage. This emotional roller coaster is a hallmark of the intense pursuit stage, reflecting the fiery dynamic that twin flames often experience. Throughout the intense pursuit, twin flames might experience cycles of harmony and discord. These cycles are natural and serve as opportunities for each individual to learn resilience, understanding, and the art of compromise. Every conflict and resolution within this phase reinforces the connection and deepens the trust between the twin flames, provided they are approached with openness and a willingness to grow together. In essence, the intense pursuit stage is about both union and individual evolution, with each step forward in the relationship also representing a step deeper into each individual's personal development. The third stage in the twin flame journey, emotional overwhelm, typically follows the intense pursuit bringing with it a torrent of deep feelings and emotional upheavals. This phase is marked by the twin flames experiencing an acute awareness of the immense emotional depth and spiritual significance of their connection, which can be both exhilarating and daunting. Their emotions can range from profound love and euphoria to intense fear and insecurity. The emotional overwhelm often stems from the realization of how deeply interconnected they are, which can make them feel incredibly vulnerable. This vulnerability is not just about opening up to another person. It's about opening up to a relationship that mirrors back their deepest fears, desires, and unhealed wounds. The intensity of this reflection can lead to moments of doubt where individuals may question their worthiness or the viability of the connection itself. It's a critical point where the fears of abandonment and rejection can surface powerfully. On this stage, embracing and accepting the full spectrum of emotions is crucial. Suppressing or denying feelings can lead to greater emotional distress and hinder personal growth. Also, pay attention of prioritizing self-care. Engaging in activities that nourish the body, mind, and spirit can help manage emotional stress. This might include meditation, exercise, creative pursuits, or simply spending time in nature. The emotional overwhelm stage serves a crucial purpose in the twin flame journey. It acts as a catalyst for deep psychological and spiritual healing. By facing and processing these intense emotions, twin flames can heal old wounds and break patterns that no longer serve them. This cleansing process is often painful, but ultimately liberative paving the way for a more mature and stable connection. The fourth stage of the twin flame journey, acceptance and release, represents a pivotal shift from emotional turbulence to a calmer state of being. This phase is characterized by the twin flames learning to let go of their expectations and attachments concerning the outcome of their relationship. 
It marks a significant turn towards inner peace and spiritual maturity. In this stage, twin flames begin to truly accept each other for who they are, along with the nature of their relationship. This acceptance is not just about tolerating each other's flaws, but involves a deep recognition of the purpose each serves in the other's life, even if it's challenging. Acceptance comes with the understanding that their connection might not always conform to conventional expectations of a relationship, but is nevertheless profound and transformative. Letting go or release in the twin flame journey is about relinquishing the need to control the relationship's trajectory. It involves trusting in the flow of life and the universe's plan for their connection. This doesn't mean giving up on the relationship, but rather adopting a more fluid approach to their union, allowing things to unfold naturally without force or fear-driven efforts. This stage often requires a profound spiritual or emotional release of past wounds, grievances, or expectations. It may involve forgiveness, both of oneself and the twin flame, for past mistakes or misunderstandings. The acceptance and release stage is significantly about growth through surrender. Surrendering doesn't imply weakness. Rather, it's a strength that comes from understanding that some forces like love and connection are greater and more intricate than can be managed by will alone. This surrender can lead to significant personal and spiritual growth as it allows individuals to live more fully in the present moment appreciating and experiencing the relationship without the constant anxiety about what should be. As twin flames move through this stage, they often find that their own emotional well-being no longer hinges solely on the relationship. They cultivate inner peace and happiness, which does not depend on their union, but enriches it when they do come together. This inner peace is critical for personal well-being and is what ultimately makes the relationship more fulfilling and less burdensome. The fifth and final stage of the twin flame journey, inner harmony and reunion marks a profound period of personal and relational fulfillment. This stage is characterized by a deep sense of inner peace and self-acceptance, coupled with a harmonious and balanced reunion with the twin flame. It is both a culmination of the spiritual and emotional work undertaken in the previous stages and a new beginning of a more enlightened and mutually supportive relationship. Inner harmony is achieved when both twin flames have worked through their personal issues and emotional baggage, reaching a state of self-love and acceptance that radiates from within. This inner peace is not dependent on the relationship, but enhances it as each person brings a whole, fulfilled self to the union. They no longer seek completion in one another, but rather enjoy the complementarity and enrichment that their relationship provides. This stage often involves a significant level of spiritual awakening, where each twin flame feels aligned with their higher self and life's purpose. They experience clarity about their path and a deeper connection to the universe, often feeling guided and supported in their choices and life direction. The reunion in this stage is not merely physical, but deeply emotional and spiritual. It might happen after periods of separation, 
whether physical or emotional, where each twin flame has had the time and space to grow individually. When they come together again, it is with a new perspective and maturity that fosters a healthier, more resilient relationship. The reunion is characterized by a sense of ease and flow. The intense drama and upheaval of the earlier stages give way to a more stable and peaceful dynamic. Twin flames in this stage are better equipped to support each other's growth, communicate openly and lovingly, and resolve conflicts in a way that strengthens their bond. The relationship in this phase acts as a mutual enhancement, where each twin flame contributes positively to the other's life, inspiring and encouraging growth, joy, and fulfillment. The love in this stage is mature, rooted in a deep understanding of each other's strengths and vulnerabilities. Remember, each stage of this journey is a unique chapter in your story. As you explore and embrace each of these stages, you will become stronger, wiser, and more filled with love. Embrace this journey as a blessing, as an opportunity to know yourself and your other half on the deepest level. Your journey is your story, and it is a beautiful one.